found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation. Just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. Steady, Pam. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Looking good, man. Looking good. Evening, señor. Thank God it's finally in. It's the damnedest. And welcome to the Yates Winery. First time at the estate. Could you show me the lay of the land? Certainly, senor. This is the visitor center. On your right is the tasting room, where we have a lovely selection of house cabernets. Upstairs is the dining and bar area. And over to your left are the bathrooms. If you peek over the railing, you can look down onto our state-of-the-art fermentation area. You can't go down, though. A staff up, I'm afraid. Thank you. Most helpful. My pleasure. Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you in. Luther? Burnwood's flying solo. I want all eyes on her. Let's see what she does. And Luther, redeploy the birds and key in on the party area. 
were spread too thin, too many blind spots. Anyone as much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I want to know about it. They're all done. And I see your tour guide is none other than Gabriel Vargas, the state's chief winemaker. Well, this is a rare privilege. You and Don Yates must be very close. Yes, about 400 meters, I should say. Pardon me? Never mind. I'll just wait here for my companion. Carry on. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Gates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, I have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Mr. Yates. Yeah. It said you'd be dropping by. Are you ready for the grand tour? Who else would be attending? Let me check. I mean, you do realize the rest of us. Broad daylight, work. Burns just. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this fool? I'm more of a beer man myself, Sorry. but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together and <laughs> nah. play the modern boss, nah, no I, problem. I don't actually mind. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very post-truth. Yeah. I like it. Who are you? Do I know you? Who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Hello there, and welcome. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. 
Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from Kent. Ran one of our interrogation labs. in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of us? Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes it was. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? But if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes. Hey, come on. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <laughs> Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, come on. I left it right. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. Good size, large and firm. It's 
Brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay at the Malbec. A grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I... Uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. Hey. So how do you like yeah. Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Okay, follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, Yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome, fine. Say queso. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. This is what the little guy feels like. No. All good. Looks like one for the mat. Now, are there any more questions? Don't be shy.
I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each contain up to 500 gallons of grey must. Interesting. Are those cooling systems? They are indeed, senor. The cooling system allows us to fine-tune the entire process. Temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Pineda Yates is quite simple. From the state-of-the-art winemaking facility to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose. To make the best vinos in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Hey, Burnwood? So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up in the house. Just a Honest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Clearance flowers. Just meeting in the root cellar. 
and judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration, likely a gathering of heralds, come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence, a calculated risk. Already. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you.